Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week, we connect you to the best of Delmarva. Now, here's naturalist Dave Wilson with a conversation about nature tourism. My guest today is Lisa Challenger. Lisa is the tourism director for Worcester County, where she has worked for 26 years. Most of us know her for her remarkable work with promoting nature trails, birding, cycling, paddling, or almost anything outdoors. Lisa currently serves on the boards of the Lower Eastern Shore Heritage Council, Delmarva Discovery Center, and was recently appointed by Governor Hogan to the Maryland Heritage Area Authority. Like myself, Lisa is a Penn State University graduate and lives in Berlin, Maryland. Uh, Today we're going to talk about nature tourism on the shore and how important it is to local economies. A lot of conservation organizations are turning to nature tourism to show how important unspoiled natural resources are for consumer spending and, in fact, the U.S. economy as a whole. We'll talk about the local impact today. Lisa, good morning. Good morning, Dave. Thank you. Now, Lisa, everybody knows Ocean City, and when they think about Worcester County, they might be, they might th- first think to themselves, well, you know, Ocean City brings in all the tourism money, uh, and the natural assets are sort of secondary. But the natural assets are something that are really spectacular here and something that, that you and the county have capitalized on. That's very true. There is such a contrast between Ocean City and the rest of the county and the rest of the county being much, much more rural. And our challenge is to get folks that are visiting Ocean City to come out and explore Worcester County and everything that we have to offer. Uh, as you mentioned, you know, we, we love promoting the outdoor uh, adventure, nature activities, birding and paddling, hiking and cycling. Uh, we, we think that Worcester County has all of that. Uh, we are, I always say we're so lucky because we have a national seashore and two state parks and a beautiful scenic river and, and, and the beaches and no other county in Maryland can say that. Let's talk a second about Assateague. I know Assateague is getting more and more popular. I think they have several million visitors a year. Does the county advertise Assateague? Of course we do. (laughs) It's those ponies that everybody loves to come and see. Yeah, Assateague just did a uh, study that they they do, I guess, every year, every other year, where uh, two million plus visitors uh, go to Assateague each year, uh, spending more than $90 million, supporting about... 1,241 jobs in the local area. So it's a huge asset to Worcester County. And uh, we do use the ponies as sort of our uh, images and all of our advertising. And uh, people don't realize when they come to Ocean City that Assateague is really that close. How about Pocomoke River State Park? I, I was reading the other day that the park is actually surrounded by about 50 to 55,000 acres of protected land. I assume uh, the county is is really up on uh, on promoting the, the park and the surrounding area of the park, too. Correct. It's a beautiful state park, and, and again, it's such a contrast to Assateague State Park, and, and they're right on the banks on both sides of the Pocomoke River. And we work really well with the DNR folks who are busy, busy making uh, new trails. They just did this fabulous uh, 13-mile Algonquin cross-county trail, great for horseback riding, and if you've got a fat tire bike or hiking, um, put in sites for canoers and paddlers, Uh, and the park itself is, is just a great place, and they continue to add on more amenities. They've got cabins. Uh, it's one of only two state parks in the state that has a swimming pool. It's it's just really a, a fabulous gem, and, and we do work hand-in-hand hand with our DNR partners. How about paddling and cycling in general? Do you feel like over the past, you've been there for 26 years, over the past decade or so, you have more inquiries about cycling, cycling and paddling, and, and do you have a certain places where you send those folks? We, we've always had a lot of folks that come here to cycle because it's so flat here. I say what we don't have in hills, we make up for in wind. But I also think, you know, this this get outdoors and get healthy, uh, that we have become such a health conscious nation that it has really helped and people are out looking for more things to do. Um, we have the View Trail 100, which is very popular, continues to be popular. And uh, as I said, we're working on some cycling trails with the DNR in the Pocomoke River State Park. Uh, but it, it is extremely popular, and we are a, a really popular cycling destination. 
I think it's important uh, to know that these things don't exist in a vacuum. In other words, Assateague Island or the Pocomoke would lose their value if water quality quality declined or if cycling and paddling and horseback riding uh, would certainly be compromised if we had shopping malls and housing developments, you know, strewn about the Worcester County countryside. Do you do you feel like there are mechanisms in place and support for you to protect these assets? I, I really do. I, Worcester's history of appropriate zoning modeled on smart growth principles has maintained the integrity of the county's ag and natural resources. And I think that we are way ahead of many, many counties in the state. Uh, the Pocomoke River is a globally important uh, forest habitat for over 172 bird species. And I, I was just looking at some statistics. 158,000 acres in forest in Worcester County, 40 miles of beaches, 407 miles of shoreline, 7,000 acres in the Rural Legacy Program, 40,000 acres of state lands. I mean, we do have some incredible open space. Yeah, and I think uh, for your job and for Worcester County's economy, uh, we want to see that continue. We we absolutely do, absolutely. How about the Delmarva Paddling Weekend? Yeah, we're excited. This is a, a new event that you are certainly very familiar and aware of, but uh, it's just going to incorporate lots of different watersheds uh, in Delaware and Maryland, the Nanticoke River, Pocomoke River, a lot of the ponds in, in Delaware, uh, doing instruction, doing fishing, or just paddling, viewing wildlife, and... Uh, we're excited. Dates are? I think September 28th to October 1st. Correct. Yep. Yep. And I think folks will have a lot of options for beginner paddlers, paddle boarding, kayaking, canoeing, and fishing. Should be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yep. We'll see you out there. We've been talking to Lisa Challenger today, the Director of Tourism for Worcester County. To learn more about tourism and the natural assets that support tourism in Worcester County, go to delmarvaalmanac.com slash nature. Well, that's all for this edition of the Delmarva Almanac. Be sure to follow us on Facebook or Twitter. And next week, join us to learn more about our local culture and get connected to our natural wonders. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, and our underwriters for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. If you'd like to become an underwriter for this program, visit delmarvaalmanac.com support. Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune.